Hello, I'm Tess. Welcome to my series. I'm going to be showing you how to make delicious recipes for £10 and under. In this episode, I'm going to be making a delicious Mexican bean taco recipe. You're going to love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 160 degrees. I'm just going to get that on now. This is so when it comes time to warm the corn tortillas, we can do that and the oven's already heated and ready to go. So I'm gonna get my frying pan on the heat. I'm just gonna bash up a couple of garlic cloves, peel them. I'm gonna chop through my garlic cloves really quickly. Right, I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of oil to the pan. And I'm just gonna throw in my garlic cloves straight away. So the garlic's on the heat, and I'm just gonna measure out a couple of teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm just gonna add it straight into the pan to toast it a bit, and some ground cumin as well. So I'm just gonna give that a little mix in the pan, because I want it to toast all the way through. Already you can really smell all the spices toasting. It's amazing, it's such a nice smell. For the full list of ingredients and the whole recipe, just check out the description box. So now my spices are just smelling really toasted and delicious. I can take them off the heat. And I'm just gonna add, this is a mixture of red kidney beans and black eyed beans. And I'm just gonna add them straight to the pan. And to that, I'm just gonna add a dash of water, a couple of tablespoons. This is just to halt the cooking of the garlic, slow it down and give the beans a chance to heat up without them becoming fried. So I'm gonna make a nice raw slaw to go with the tacos. I've got a quarter of a red cabbage here and a large carrot, and I'm just gonna make a dressing for it with juice of one lime and a few tablespoons of olive oil. Just drizzle in like that. I'm just gonna give that a little mix up. And I'm gonna season it generously with some pepper and some fresh sea salt. Okay, right, so the coleslaw's done. Now, the beans are definitely nicely heated through. Yeah, you can see they're starting to break down now, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just going to get the back of my fork and just mash them slightly. I don't want to get rid of all of their texture, but I just want to loosen them, soften them, so that they become a little bit more of a, of a mush. I'm just going to pop my corn tortillas in the oven which I preheated, just so they warm through a little bit. While the corn tortillas are still warming in the oven, we've got my beans ready to go. I'm just gonna finish off the salad. I'm just gonna add some spring onions. Just two spring onions, chopped up, and then a small handful of coriander, a couple of tablespoons. Just give that a little mix in. This is such a nice, cheap, kind of colorful, little salad number. It can go with anything. You could serve it alongside some grilled meat. It doesn't have to be used in a taco. It just adds a really nice crunch. So that's done. So I'm just gonna grab my corn tortillas out of the oven. They're nice and hot now, but they're not quite toasted. And now, just to arrange the tacos. So I'm gonna begin with a little bit of the bean mixture, which I'm gonna lay down. I have to say, it doesn't look that pretty but when you taste it, you'll understand. And then some of the fresh coleslaw on top. And then I'm gonna to top it with a bit of feta cheese. This is about 100 grams of feta to divide between four portions. There we go. I just recommend you serve it with some fresh sour cream. And I really like the hot chipotle paste that they use in Mexico. It's kind of smoky, but it's very spicy. So if you're not so keen on spice, go easy on it, definitely. I'm just gonna finish making up the rest of this batch, but do tune in next time for some more episodes in my series.